Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're at the New Jersey League of Municipalities Conference here to talk to some of the attendees. We have the New Jersey Hall of Fame Mobile Museum. We have Steve Edwards here, the chairman of the foundation. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being here, So, Gary. So tell me about this mobile museum. So the mobile museum is, we like to think of it as a state treasure. It's an 18-wheeler uh, tractor trailer, an expandable museum. It's almost 1,000 square feet. It's a museum on wheels. We dub it the uh, field trip on wheels. It goes out to the high schools, it goes out to the elementary schools, it goes out to town events. Uh, it's available to rent on a per diem basis. Um, so we encourage your viewers to go to njhalloffame.org if they'd like to find out more. But it's a, it's a state-of-the-art uh, entertainment attraction. Um, it's also an educational tool. Teachers find it very helpful uh, to bring their students in and to educate them about all the greatness uh, that New Jersey is, all the amazing people that have come from all walks of life. And uh, it's been a big success. We've had 75,000 people that have walked through in the past uh, 14 months or so. Uh, this next 12 months, we're expecting 100,000 people to walk through. So it's becoming a very popular entertainment attraction. So companies could rent this out too? Companies could rent it out. It's, it's available for private events. Um, it's very popular with schools and with uh, popular town events. It was at the New Jersey State Fair, for example. Uh, over a five-day period, we had 14,000 people that walked through the mobile. And that's one of the advantages. It's efficient. You can get so many people through in a day. It's, it's a great you know, attraction to bring to your community, and uh, we hope uh, people will continue to bring it to their community. It's worked out very well so far. Why does New Jersey have to have a Hall of Fame? Well, we don't have to have a Hall of Fame, but we're one of five states around the country that do have one. Uh, and I find it I ironic because New Jersey gets bashed a lot. But our mission is about celebrating New Jersey. It's about honoring our legends and it's about inspiring all people for that matter to reach for the stars, to strive for excellence or whatever you know, walk of life they, they want to pursue. I think that's an important mission, you know, uh, especially with children who get bombarded every day uh, on TV by negative images. You know, here we have um, this, this museum that is encouraging children, chase your impossible dream. You know, it's not so impossible if you believe in yourself and you use our role models as a way to, you know, to, to be inspired. We think inspiring children is a worthwhile mission. So let's take a walk inside. Sounds good. So Steve, how old is the Mobile Museum? Mobile Museum is now uh, about 15 months old. Mm -hmm. It was launched in June of uh, 2013. And so um, it's 15 months old. Uh, we hope that it's gonna last for many, many generations to come, certainly for the next 50 years, we hope. It's actually very beautiful inside and, and very kid-friendly too, it, right? It is. Uh, the centerpiece of the Mobile are graphics and artifacts, for example, if you, if Take a look here. We have, this is Thomas Edison's exhibit. This is one of the first incandescent light bulbs that Edison invented. It came out of his personal collection. And here it is on display um, here in the, in the Mobile Museum. Uh, we've got some other paraphernalia right out of his laboratory. So with the exhibit here, and like all the exhibits in the centerpiece, uh, someone could pick the phone up, um, the headset, and they could hear a biographical type of vignette about Edison's life and a very inspiring one, and that's the case with all of the uh, exhibits here. Um, so it's, uh, it's very interactive, mm -hmm. which is very important for any museum, and it's also immersive. Michael Graves, the world-renowned architect who's uh, inductee of the Hall of Fame, he was the architect that designed the exterior of the Mobile Museum. Uh, he came on board not too long ago. He talked to the group that was before him about how immersive the museum was. He was, ha he was listening to a uh, the induction speech of Jack Nicholson, who's a friend of his. And he thought to himself as he was listening to it that, wow, you know, we have a thousand square foot museum here, but it's a lot bigger 
than a thousand square feet when someone becomes immersed into whatever material that they're listening to and, and watching. So tell me who else you have here. So we have uh, Michael Graves, Carl Sagan. Last fall, this is actually a fun little exhibit. You'll hear the guitar. Mm -hmm. We've got Paul Robeson, uh, William Carlos Williams, Leon Hess, the Hess Corporation. This is one of my favorite exhibits. This is uh, Vince Lombardi. There's actually nobody speaking when you pick the headset up. What you'll hear is inspirational music, and you'll see any number of Vince Lombardi's inspirational quotes. Mm -hmm. And I, I, for one, always love to see a good quote. It gets me inspired. Robert Wood Johnson, uh, John Bon Jovi, and this is uh, material relating to his one of his charities, the Soul Kitchen in Red, Bank. in Red Bank. And then if you look over there at the end, we've got one of the jackets that Bon Jovi wore uh, on his uh, New Jersey tour back in the 80s, uh, an original Les Paul guitar. Uh, and then this is very interesting. It's one of the first phonographs that was invented, that Thomas Edison invented. Again, it came out of his personal collection. That's a real fun thing to have on board, a very historic thing to now, have on board. I know you've been involved with this for well over seven or eight years now. Why is New Jersey so important to you? And Governor Kane talked about this many years ago, that when someone feels proud, they feel anything is possible. And I just happen to be one of those people, and there are many, many more in the state like me, who believe we've got so much to be proud of. You know, we get knocked around, but we've got so many incredible people from all walks of life that we should take pride in. Obviously, our, our geography from the mountains to the beach, you know, and, and everything in between is something to be proud of. And um, I just find pride is something that's uh, is exciting to celebrate. And we ought to do it more here in New Jersey.